hi today we will discuss one of the doubt that a student has posed so let me show you the question i have detailed one beam in two methods and that is with two and three rebars i would like to verify my detailing with you i have some doubts while detailing is it correct to have different layers in top three layers and bottom two layers in a section three bars two layers at top region and two bars at bottom so we will clarify all this before that let me show what he has sketched and attached and sent me so i put together that into a work board here and he has calculated all the steel required which i have not verified but then the detailing is what i'm going to verify right now so let's first take the two number rebar detailing so i will first check the bottom rebars so as per his moment diagram here you can see that you have 71 on the left hand side span and 55 here moment at the right hand span and you have slight reversal here and 40 46 at the supports at the bottom region because of the earthquake combination one of the earthquake combination probably it will be the one with 0.9 dl anyways so we will see that in detail so let me first see this 55 so as per him 364 is the steel needed i don't know the depth of the beam so he has calculated the steel already so i'm going to go with this particular value so 364 so 55 364 71 489 so how do you go about that so here what he has done is he has provided 216 throughout so that's one thing so 216 throughout which looks reasonable to me and if you give 216 throughout it will automatically take care of the entire 55 because you need only 364 here 216 has 400 steel and it will also cover this particular 46 as well so this looks okay to me 216 first layer and uh, the second layer 212 now here there is a problem this 212 is not needed simply because the first layer is 216 so when this is 216 400 is satisfying the middle portion and it is also satisfying this support so that is a mistake second thing let us look at the right hand left hand span so you need 71 so it's 489 so what you could do is provide 216 that is 400 then you have another 89 needed so probably you will have to give 212 as an extra bar so that looks okay to me this particular thing but i don't think you need to take it up to the other support and up to the other span because you don't have more than 40 here so 40 needs only 253 so you are not required to take that beyond this particular point so you can curtail this so basically that detail can be redone something like this that is you need 216 throughout and then you have a 212 this should work for that particular detail in the bottom region and probably what i understand is he might have accidentally put the layer ulta that is i think he would have meant this to be something like this this is going to be 212 and the second layer is going to be 212 as well so if that is the case then let us see what happens so when you have 212 at the bottom first layer then probably what you have is not sufficient you have a moment of 55 and for 55 you need 364 so probably that also is wrong because you will have to run this through so probably you will have to do this complete continue because you need at the span as well and at the support you have around 46 so you need 301 so 212 plus 212 is 446 so that will be satisfied 212 has an area of 226 and 412 212 plus 212 will have an area of 446 so that also will be satisfied and here you need anyway 40 and 40 means you need 253 so this may be another detail so 71 needs 489 so 212 plus 212 226 plus 226 so you have satisfied everything at the bottom so either you can go with this particular detail which i did or this 
particular detail both should work now based on which will be more economic you can go with that and one another good detailing rule is that first layer being the largest diameter so this will be better in such a case but if you look at the economy it may be the other way but in this particular case it's again you need 212 212 continuously so here 216 is the first layer the 212 you are curtailing so based on the weight you can decide which one to go for both looks okay to me technically so that's how the bottom rebars are and let's now see the top rebars so as per his detail you need 158 121 and 112 moments are occurring so for 158 1139 and you also have a compressive steel requirement so straight away i would want to know the size of the beam because if the beam size is too less then i don't recommend having a compressive steel doubly reinforced section like this so here you can see there is an ac so i don't recommend that until and unless it is really needed if there is a depth restriction then only you will have to go with this compressive steel so i would rather redesign this with a larger depth but anyways his question is about detailing so i am untouching this so here there is a problem because your left bottom rebars even if you go with 216 to 12 you may have to do this because you have a compression here at the support so 400 216 is 400 then 212 is 226 so this will meet the requirement and what he has drawn is also probably think keeping that in mind so i am correcting that so probably 216 212 400 plus 226 is doing the job so that detail looks okay to me but then 158 needs 1139 so let's see how he has detailed this so he has run 212 212 through for the economy and then there are three total layers of rebar so i don't recommend doing this because there will be a bit of congestion especially when i don't know the depth of the beam which is not mentioned here so i don't recommend in a normal project in a mid-scale project i had given him a very mid-scale project so i don't recommend doing three layers in this particular beam so i would go for increasing the depth so that you don't end up with a double reinforced section first place second thing is even if i accept the double reinforced section i don't want this three layers here so rather than 212 here probably go for 216 now when you have 216 you have 400 and balance required is around 1139 minus 400 so 1139 minus 400 so 739 so when you have 739 220 will not suffice so 225 will be needed so i would change this to 216 throughout and 225 extra another thing that, that you could do is in such a situation you could do again i don't recommend this particular detail which i'm going to tell you in seismic zones that is something like this you are using all cut bars and you are going to use something like a stirrup hanger here so this can be 220 and this can be 220 so you are avoiding using 225 and this will be 212 so this is 220 plus 220 is around 628 multiplied by 2 so you have sufficient reinforcement i thought let's check yes you have sufficient to cover that so you are eliminating the use of 25 here but then there is a cut bar here so in seismic zones i don't recommend this i recommend 216 through and then giving 225 one more thing is there is also a cordial rule if you check sp34 or is 456 this should be 20 percent of what you have at the support so i would recommend you to check that so is 212 that is 226 steel 20 percent of whatever you have here so that needs to be satisfied minimum should be there so that you need to check and if that is okay then you can maybe go with this particular detail but let's now go with this particular detail here 225 as the second layer now in the second span you have 121 so 874 so you already have 216 400 
so remaining is 474 something like that so you will again need either 220 here or you can look at some minor redistribution of moments 200 yeah 220 so here we are giving a bit more than needed but then there is no way that you can do that so what you could do is understanding if this 121 is from this span or from this span you can transfer minor moment you can redistribute it to the span if you have your steel provided at the mid span more than needed so you can do the redistribution so if you are not aware of what redistribution is i recommend you go to our blog and find a blog which is good enough to help you out so here if you come there is a blog on redistribution of moments and please ensure that you understand it well and then adopt only if it is allowable because redistribution is not recommended beyond a certain value and it is also not recommended in seismic zone so if your governing case is a seismic case then i would recommend not to do redistribution but it's anyway worth to understand what it means and understand all this so the entire blog talks about redistribution of moments so let's not redistribute so if you are not redistributing you end up giving slightly more than needed but if you are redistributing then this 220 can be made to 216 so based on which combination you are getting criticality there you can decide that so if it's dead load live load which is governing which is very rare in the project that i had given so if that's not the case then better don't redistribute and the right support you have 72 or 112 so it needs 818 so probably 216 and again 220 will be needed there so that's how you need to go about this particular detail so 874 and 818 is not a huge difference 818 means you need 216 plus 216 is still slightly short because 216 is 400 and another 216 is 800 so you are still short slightly so you can redistribute but keeping in mind whatever rules i told you please read the blog you can also look at the loads and see if you can fine tune and then adopt that so here in all these cases you have a doubly reinforced section if you see here there is asc needed here also there is asc needed which means it's doubly reinforced so i would recommend rather than doing all this if you slightly increase your depth so if you have taken 450 as your depth if you go with 500 or 550 then or 600 even if it is needed then it becomes much more simpler your congestion of steel at the top will reduce your compression steel needed at the bottom will reduce and there will be a lot of difference in your detailing which it will be much simpler so only if you have depth restriction then you need to go with all 525 asc or if it's a beam where you need depth control due to some reason or already it is very deep and functionally and architecturally it's not great to increase further so only in such situations you can adopt this otherwise you can make it much simpler so since he has not mentioned the depth here uh, i'm unable to understand that aspect now when it comes to the second detailing which he suggested what he has done what he has done is he has used three number of rebars here so if you look at this this is a cut detail so let's see the bottom reinforcement first so here 316 will give you 600 so what you need at the spans are already covered and he's cutting one bar and making it 216 so it should be clarified where that one bar is going to be cut so let's see where it can be cut so 316 so what is the moment it's 71 so 71 needs 489 so i think this is 216 plus 116 that he has put so probably this bar can be cut somewhere here let's see so i will have to check but currently let me take that i can curtail it here so 316 is one bar is curtailed here so this is your 316 and 216 goes further that's what he has shown here 216 so let's see if it works so at the support will it work 
let's see 400 is what we have when it is 216 so the steel needed is 440 and for 40 you need only 253 so 216 works then there is also a compressive steel requirement of 121 so for that it is 227 so that works well so you can curtail one of the bar here so 316 one is curtailed here and then you have 216 going further then at the left support you have a requirement of 158 525 so here you have 316 so when you have 316 you don't need 200 200 200 so around 600 you already have so this second layer of 312 is not really needed or you can make it one more bar you can cut here and you can put extra bar so i don't see the need of this 312 here 316 will give you 600 so you have only a requirement of 525 even if it is a compressive steel then coming to the span here you have 216 and your moment is only 55 so 364 so 400 is good enough and at the right support you have a moment of 46 and even the compressive steel is only 164 and for 46 you need only 301 so i don't see the need of this extra bar because 316 and 216 going completely will take care of your entire bottom steel reinforcement requirement so this is not probably needed and this is also not probably needed you can give 216 throughout and one extra bar which is curtailed like this so two bars will go through the central one you can curtail so if i draw the cross section it will be one two three and this bar is what i'm talking about here curtailed once more let me check you have 71 requirement you need 489 steel and you have three there and at the left support you have 20 but 158 compression is 525 he says so 525 you need so you have 316 which is 600 so you don't need the second layer at all and uh, if you come here you need only 216 and if you come here you need only 216 and at the right support also you need only 216 so i think this is good enough you don't need the second layer now coming to the top rebars at the left support what he has done is 316 and uh, he's taking 312 further so let's see what happens the second layer is remaining so you have 600 here and your requirement is 1139 so he has not sketched it i think this also will be 316 and you are lapping here at the center that's okay because at the center of the span at the top you don't have tension and you also don't have any compressive steel so this lap at the center is all right even if it is 0.25 l1 if you are lapping it after that that should be okay as long as it's not critical in seismic so 312 and 316 so that will make it 339 plus 600 that is 939 you have at the second support approximately so at the second support your requirement is 874 that should be fine so that's also okay and in the last you have same that is 939 so what you need is 818 you have more than that so if you make it 6 12 312 plus 312 then that will be something like 6 multiplied by 113 area of one number of 12 diameter bar so 678 is not sufficient so 312 and uh, 316 is very much needed or you will have to go with redistribution which will be higher than the permissible value so i don't recommend that so this looks okay to me the top rebar detailing you can also simplify it by slightly increasing the depth is my suggestion and he has some more questions in the mail so if i look here his question is is it correct to have different layers in top that is three number of bars in top and two layers in bottom so technically that should be okay but then it's all the site conditions and the contractors or the bar bending layers confusion that it can create so generally i generally detail either two bars or three bars not a mix of many 
so it might create confusion and mistakes at sight and it's easy for checking so one pattern would be better but there is no hard and fast rule like that it's all going to be dependent on you you can do that not a big issue again don't use three number of bars if your width is 200 if your beam width is only 200 you may end up with congestion especially when you are using larger diameter bar so beams like 300 you can go with three number of rebars sometimes 230 also might it all depends on the quality control so you need to ensure that the aggregates can pass through rebars three bars two layers at top region and two bars two layers at bottom yeah that's again same thing so you can do that but based on real requirements so i think you can manage in smaller to medium project you can manage with two two bars or at least one pattern you can follow it's okay i'm just telling you that it's possible practically to meet this three bars and two bars in two layers three bars and two bars in two layers in top and bottom while lapping two different bars which bar diameter should we take for calculating lap length it's the smaller bar your answers will be okay and please note that first layer cannot be two and second layer three so that is difficult to tie it's not recommended so you have to have first layer three and second layer two that is fine top or bottom but first layer two numbers and second layer three numbers is not something which is recommendable so that's all that i wanted to tell you today so hope you like the video so if you have any confusion or clarification further on this please feel free to get back so you can check www.civil era.com for our blogs and various other resources that we have so thank you